Hi everyone, it's Danielle from Freeze. I'm here today to talk to you about a great new feature that we've just released for Orchestrator called File Handling. File Handling introduces greater file support in Orchestrator so you can start using files as part of your workflow. Prior to file handling, you could only pass information as a JSON output. But what does this mean? With passing information as a JSON output, you were limited by its file size. Also, because you were passing the output as a string, this meant that certain actions were not available to your orchestrator workflow because there was no file path to reference. But now, with file handling, we have certain new benefits that we're very excited about. You can now save each action's output as a file, which means for any subsequent actions, you can reference that same file output by its file path. This means we can now start seeing extended actions in your orchestrator workflow, as well as having the ability to pass larger content because we're no longer constrained by file size. We're really excited about this, and I'm now going to start showing you a little bit about file handling in practice in Orchestrator. Here in Orchestrator, I've got a workflow set up, which is using how we would receive content from a previous action prior to file handling, which you can see here for the parameter section inside the transform JSON with JQ action. I'm focusing specifically on this action because it's one of the many actions that will benefit enormously from file handling. Prior to file handling, you would receive the content from a previous action, but in raw format, as denoted here with the at.outputs.result, where I would receive it in JSON format. It's actually been updated, so you would use at raw instead, again, to receive the exact same content as before, and you would select this JSON option here. But deleting that, I actually want to receive in file format from the download a locale option. So I'm going to choose file. You can see here the name has changed to file. And I'm going to use our new field picker tool to get me that content from the previous action. So download a locale variable. And there's two options here, one still for raw output and then another for file path. In this case, I'm going to choose file path and the syntax has already been populated for me. And you can see it's referring to the download a locale. So hit apply. You can then type in whichever JQ you want to perform across that file content that's been received from download a locale. It's that simple. So there you have it. File handling is something we're really excited to have released for Orchestrator. This is something that's been in high demand for a short time now. And we hope you're as excited as we are. With file handling, it unlocks greater file support as part of your workflow. You won't be limited by file size anymore, and you'll even see extended actions that you can now use as part of your workflow. Watch this space because we'll be rolling out more file support as we go, and please get in contact if you have any feedback. Thanks very much for listening. Hope you have a great day.